Today, we visit an old Welsh farmhouse with an Asian flair. Its beautiful garden transports you to a distant land. Stone walls adorned with items from all over the world. The delicious smell of herbs and spices fill the air. A stocked kitchen sits untouched. The home of a collector, knickknacks from a time gone by arranged on shelves. Fossils and gems are on display in every room. Feathers are placed protecting each corner of the residence. Let's take a look inside this unique home. What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are taking you on a tour of another time capsule house but this one's a little bit different. It's an old traditional English farmhouse but we think the owners were Asian, Indian, that, that sort of area. So the insides and all the collectibles and the knickknacks are really unusual and really different to what we're used to seeing in, in houses like this. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty cool. But we're, we're trying to work out how long it's been abandoned for. Yeah, it doesn't seem too long, does I, it? I reckon it, maybe a year, two years yeah. it's been abandoned for. And also there's police tape on the outside, mm -hmm. on the back. So may, maybe they died here or may, maybe some sort of crime happened. Who mm -hmm. knows? But yeah, with, with all that talking done, I think we're just going to get straight on with the explore. Right then, let's start really hunting. It's cold in it's here. It's cold in here, isn't it? Really it's cold. freezing. It's old stone house. Yeah, but see, the, t the TV is not very old, is it? It's even got a sky box. Ask the, um, the DVDs. The House of Dracula. Hmm. Look, they got pirate copies. <laughs> Rock and roll, 50s music. Ooh. I know they're DVDs though. Doo wop. It's got a. The IT crowd. It's got a free CD Bob Marley set up there. No way. Music for wellness. Oh yeah. This is definitely our type of place. Yeah. It's I've, cool. I've seen people call it the masala house, the cook's house. People call it the hippie house. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like it. I like the interior a lot. It's different. Look at that painting. Awesome. It reminds me of like aliens. I like that a lot actually. Look, S. Ironfield 78. Wow. It looks a good nick for that old. It almost looks like he may have, do you know what I mean? It's like a home painting. Home, home painting, yeah. See, look, there's an Amazon box there. I mean, it's covered in dust in here, so it's been, it's been abandoned it's for a been while. It's a while, definitely. yeah. It's just not too bad, is it, yet? Wow! Look at that. It's like a big Native American's head. That is incredible. It's like a shield below. It's like an armadillo like iron breastplate. Got that lovely wood as well. Wow, this place is incredible. I just can't get over the um the ornaments in here. And the beautiful lamp. The moon clock as well. That's awesome. I think I think they made that themselves. It looks like. So I think the family or the people with the couple who lived here were definitely into arts and crafts. Did a lot of stuff themselves. Um, yeah, I mean, just look at it. The paintings, the handmade clock, even the little lanterns everywhere and stuff. It's probably all handmade. 
So cool. I love heat in it, sort of stuff here, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's cold in here, isn't it? Really? I don't know what this is. That it's must some be sort of... some sort of... Wow, some sort of that. heater or something. Look at all this behind. Wow, that's a huge chimney. Oh, look. You've had to prop the um, beam up. Yeah, look how far it's come down compared to over there. It's crazy. Yeah. Look, it's a whole bunch of incense. Loads. No way. Oh, wow, all the candles. I wonder if they still smell. Oh, wow, that is a beast. They still smell. Yeah. Wow, I love incense. Love mm -hmm. incense us, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this little lantern as well. That is cool. Look, there's it for a tea light. That's sweet. A wooden donkey and a rabbit. That says where, where it was made here. S.P. Davies. Lani Lowe's. Can't speak Welsh very well. The main door in. Look at the sofa. Yeah. Love that. And the puff there. Yeah, I love those pillows. That reminds me of almost like uh, Machu Picchu, a Native American. Yeah, that looks Native American. I wonder if they've um, been to America. Probably These are probably all actual artifacts mm -hmm. made, yeah. made by the Native Travel. Americans. And the computers, free computers. Old school computers. Yeah. Maria's cash and carry. It's strange to have free, isn't it? Yeah. Look, it's going to run enough to do. <laughs> oh, all the joints are still in the ashtray. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's an old uh, incense cut, like tea light burner. Like a little temple, a little handmade temple in the background. All sorts of stuff. It's essential oil. I think he might have been a woodworker. Do you, do you think? Do you think he's made all these? Because look at all of this and then look at all of these tools. Oh, yeah. Because it definitely okay, he doesn't have a. There isn't a lot of burned fires. It looks like he's put them there to work with, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that, that would have burnt wood. But yeah, this 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 wood it doesn't... Oh, look, look, look. You can see he's been marking stuff yeah. out. He's wow. a woodworker. That's awesome. Now, saying that, he's probably made all, all of the wooden stuff Maybe. over here, you know. Or oh, stuff like that. That looks like... Yeah, that's, that's what he's probably made. That donkey. That's cool. That is some serious craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. And now it's just here, wasting away. Everyone's forgot about it. Mm. Yeah. Preserved in history, though. Yeah. It's like a fossil. Yeah. It's probably just going to be here forever and ever. A bit orange curtains. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's like a, a wind chime. Is that Turkish? Yeah. Turkish eye. Turkish eye. I like this puff. Go on, Jess. T t take a s seat on the sofa. Come on. See, that's the foot puff, isn't it? Yeah, put your feet. On. Yeah, that that's looks cotch. All the batteries, more tools down here as well. Screwdrivers, PVA glue. I'll tell you a funny story about PVA glue. So when I was a kid in art class, I used to sit there, you know, like the little flipper stirrers you get. Can you remember them? Mm -hmm. And I used to eat it like a spoon, oh. PVA glue. Yeah. Oh my! I thought you were gonna say you do that thing where you put it on your hands and no, feel used, it. No, we used to eat That's it. That's wrong. <laughs> you're lucky you're alive. I know. <laughs> Backstage crew. Backstage crew of the festival 27, 2007. Yeah. Look at that mirror. Look, there's just little bits and bobs everywhere, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I actually love this place. It's, cool. it's one of my favourites so far. I mm -hmm. love that just like, it's not super old and like collectible stuff, but it's funky. It's nice things, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, the moon calendar. I like that. Reminds, that. reminds me of our house a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Similar knickknacks. Oh, look, a recorder. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
These are lovely curtains. Nice little details over there. Oh, look at all the ornaments. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the cobwebs. They've actually oh, there's a like... huge Native American there. Let me turn this light off from there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. I'll leave that one. That is incredible. Oh, look. Quartz egg. Rose quartz egg. Oh, yeah. Obsidian, calcite, all sorts of minerals and stuff. Look at the cobwebs. It's all the knickknacks everywhere. And the seed balls. These cobwebs are thick, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, better shut the curtain back up. Damn, those cobwebs are for real. Yeah, those are some serious cobwebs now. Oh look, a little gold leaf on the oh, curtain. Yeah. A copper leaf. It's electroplated. But look, even behind the door. <laughs> oh, look at that spider. <laughs> That's not good stuff. Oh, look at that. I've never seen it like that. Thick. That's the yeah. thickest cob I've ever seen. It's really thick. Uh. Oh, look at the Arga. Wow. Before we look at that, I'm going to carry on looking here. See what's in the drawers. Oh, they're rammed. Can't even open them. You can see. It's like buttons. Just bits of paper and stuff. Is that right? Fuses. It's all just like um workshops. Like yeah. Wow, this is a touch like shut tight. What's that there? Caron. Puree de pom. Potato There's flour. flour. Potato flour. Oh, what is this? It's like a bag of nature. I wonder if there's a date on here then. Anasi balls. 2010. I don't know if I'd like an aniseed ball. No, it'd be quite strong, wouldn't mm. it? Look at all of this stuff. Look at this. It's almost wow. like, set up like a museum almost. This is like a museum. Oh, the books just left in place. And the party. Look at those ones. Those are really old. Oh. The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. Look, Ferdinand Flop. Wow, I bet some of these are so old. Look at this one, it's covered in mould. I think it's in Welsh or something like that. Mankind at the crossroads, nature's myths. Wow, look at these ones. Cool. Those are old. Well, that's there. Uh... Those are new, but... Minerals, rocks and precious stones, fossils in colour. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> What's in the tin? Mm. Broken pottery. Mm. Probably going to repair it. Drugs here. Ah, so, so it's... It's definitely an Indian or an Asian person. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to show you guys the name, um, just in case it leaks the location, as these locations are sensitive, but it's definitely an, um, an Asian name. What's in that jar? I thought it was like skull and crossbones, but it's... It's, it's um... Gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. <laughs> Filled with coins still.
stuff right at the top. Oh, it's still got the the oh, booze yeah. in there. Unopened. Bath ales, goldfinch. I bet you that's a massive bag of rice or something. <laughs> yeah, they come in those huge bags, don't they? Someone thinking of you. 50p. It's be from the charity shop. This as well, and it's actually a candle. Look, it's um, ca it's a castle in Wales, right That's by Cardigan. Look. Awesome candle. It's not the sort of candle you burn, is it? No. Hand engraved. Look at this, some sort of press, I think. Yeah, it is. Look at that, it's the tiniest book, book ever. <laughs> it's a bit oh, it's little Bible. It's got a... Oh my god. Wow. Common prayer book. That's tiny. How are you supposed to read that? Ah. Oh. Oh. Put it back the right way. Look how old these are. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to touch them really. Just in case they break. And to the Arga. Wow. See, they've obviously um, pimped it up, sort of thing, and put a new chimney going through it. It's a beast. And that axe right by it. <laughs> yeah, Go on, pick, pick it up, Jess. See how heavy that is. It's an old one as well. Oh, it's not too Whoa. Heavy. Careful now. <laughs> Jess, the axe murderer. <laughs> All these up here. I love little tins and stuff like this. So cool. They were just. This is like a museum. It's like they collected this stuff. Yeah. Look, it's the old fashioned hair, oh, yeah. hair clippers, like from the um, brass house. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Look at that. It's even a little holder for the chalk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, everyone's been writing their names on there. This sort of Not stuff, good. though, when you think that's. That was sold in shops just as. But look at it now, it's it's almost an ornament. It's, it is they, an ornament. The artwork is so nice. I wonder if there's any dates on this sort of stuff. Croydon, England. Food product. It's still got the milk in there. Whoa. It's not even open. Go turn to that way. Is there any date here? No. It's so old, it probably was maybe before they put dates on things. <laughs> Surely not. Can't believe that. Pop it back. Look, there's a pots and pans. Look at that. Fresh cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. These are cigarettes. No. Oh. Now that is cool. That is an old school cigarette packet. That John Players so and Sons. That is so cool. What did the back say? Virginia Tobacco. That is the oldest cigarette box I've ever seen. So when I used to be a builder, we actually used to find a lot of old cigarette boxes, old match boxes and stuff on under the floor. Mm. And I think that's the first one we've seen in the abandoned buildings. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Cool, it's a real piece of history. All, all of this stuff here is history, isn't it? I mean, th this sort of stuff's got to be like 1940s. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, late 30s, 1940s. Yeah. Definitely, it's like wartime stuff, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. It's like they're pots and pans. I think they probably cooked many meals in those. Oh, Ooh, little ivory. Attached. Yeah, they look like they, ivory, don't they? They are. Look, it's, they've still got their tusks, their one tusk. Ivory elephants. Look up there. It's some sort of old shop sign. Coal tar soap. This is a cool place. It is. They collected some amazing things. They, they, they've collected a lot of really cool stuff over the years. Mm -hmm. Stuff you just don't see no. a, a, anywhere else. Look at the big box. Tea is for tea. <laughs> Pays to buy good tea. Yep. Mm -hmm. All their drugs and stuff up there. Fridge freezer. Box back there. Oh yeah. Getting covered in cobwebs now. Oh, 
that's a good first little, aid box. Yeah. Oh. There's a newspaper there. Oh, yeah. A modern one. 1995. Cool. Yeah, before I was born. Let's see if anything interesting was. Uh, it's an Anglin Times, it's a fishing magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to see if there was anything interesting going on at that point in time, but it's just <laughs> about, about fishing. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a jacket. That's it's like funky. a throw in it. That yeah. is lovely. I like that. It's a bit, a bit itchy though. The elephant. Mm -hmm. oh, elephant like, above the door. And there's this cooking apron. Oh yeah. This must be the kitchen then. Mm -hmm. You know, it smells like a really good um, whole food shop. Wow. Look at that. Oh, oh it, it does. So good. It smells it smells like curry in here. Wow. I bet there's some good meals It smells in amazing in here. Why can't I like we cook with hundreds of herbs and spices, but <laughs> our kitchen doesn't smell like this. I mean our, <laughs> I mean we have a lot, but I'm, I reckon we've probably got the same amount as that. <laughs> He's got a large amount of them, hasn't he? Wow, it smells so Look good at in there. Look at that massive tub of curry paste. It's incredible. Garam masala, citric acid. Look, they're just full. Starve anise, everything. Get it stocked up. Yeah. This is a real time capsule. Look, look, at, look at the old cinnamon sticks. Oh, yeah. That food is going to be fermenting in there. It was supposed to be eaten. Oh no, that's probably when they made it, isn't it? 97. September yeah. 97. Tomato chutney. Vietnamese sour soup. I wonder what that, that's like. They've got everything you need here to make. Wow, look at that old bovril. Oh, wow, yeah. It's an old one. You look at all the different curry pastes and stuff. <laughs> Hemp oil. I wish you could put the smell on. Yeah. <laughs> For you guys. Scottish marble egg or something. A bit of jerk seasoning up there. Oh yeah. Nice. What a place this is. Look at the pestled mortar, it's huge. Oh yeah. It's a real one. Look, they, that, they still haven't done the washing up. They're still washing up drying. It's crazy. It's quite sad to see that really. Mm -hmm. Just never got to finish the washing up. Do we? Go on, open it up. Ooh. It's not that bad, it doesn't smell. Oh, it's just jarred up. Oh, it, Ooh, it does. does smell, yeah. That smells like potatoes. <sighs> Jesus. Oh. That is bad. <laughs> look, let's head out of the kitchen for now. That, that's a tiny little blender, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Let me drop this down so you can actually see one. Mushroom tile. Oh yeah. Look at that. I wonder what that was for. Can then. opener. No way. Yeah. Built in yeah. can opener into the wall. That's so cool. Yeah, they got that the is what it's all about. There too. Oh yeah. Everything. Yeah. Try the lights. No. Oh. Strange. Mm. The power does seem on. All the stuff you need. Oh my god. Is that, is that nuts? Yeah, looks like teeth. I thought it was something to do with a snake for one of us. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Kitchen foil. Plastic containers. Freeze your curry. <laughs> Any small kitchen, but literally everything. Perfect you kitchen. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to own this place. Oh, they had a whole bunch of pasta left. Everything's left, isn't mm -hmm. it? What's this? Not sure, yeah. guys, if you know what that is, if you've seen one of those before, drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to know. Check these last drawers. Everything's it's seized, isn't seized it? Seized up, yeah. Cool. Right, let's keep it moving. One last shot of the kitchen.
at this. It's the timer and a clock. Oh yeah, well, clock good timer. Idea. <laughs> we need one of those. Yeah. Yeah, that thing, there's a cool thing in here. I just put that on the way out that I didn't notice before. It's literally just hidden. Look, they've actually set oh, yeah, bottle in tops the into the cement. into the brick, yeah. Shut this up. Oh, look, it looks like they painted this themselves. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Look at that. It's like a, um, like, Air Force jacket or something, isn't it? Looks like women, a man and a woman lived here, actually. There's some sort of women's shoes and men's. Look, complete bean sprout go growing kit. <laughs> All the wine. Look at this old iron. Wow. I'm stuck to the glove. Look, you can actually see straight through. Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. I oh, wonder yeah. why the alcohol is so far away. <laughs> Bathroom then. Wow. Oh, wow. This is it. I'm going to come in. I'm going to shut the door in there. They've done an awesome job with this place. Look at the birds hanging on the wood. Look, there's fossils up there. Trilobites! No no, 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 in a trilobite. That oh, is awesome. so cool. <laughs> they look local as well, don't they? Yeah. And they obviously liked wood, and Fint's wood. Look at this, look. <laughs> Huge abalone. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Ring there. Aww. Oh look, it's like a purple cat's eye. Wow. Resin, isn't it? Wow, imagine sat in this bath with that candle lit, incense burning. Be so relaxing, wouldn't it? They've got like feathers everywhere and stuff. Oh, yeah. Put some more cleaning stuff. You really get the feel in here, it's like a, it's a really relaxed atmosphere yeah. in here, this house. They were probably burning incense, chilling out in the bath. And I can, I, it's almost like I can still feel just how relaxed it mm. really was in here. I mean, the area that we're in is beautiful oh, it's too. Oh, beautiful surroundings. Yeah. What a place this really is. Mm -hmm. So we're just um, having a little look around in the toilet and we realise there's a lighter attached to the toilet roll holder. It still works! <laughs> no way. And we're wondering if this is actually, yeah it is. I've never seen that before. You know what it is, they've been smoking joints on the toilet. Yeah, what? Put it right <laughs> out for it as well. Yeah. Just, just spotted there's like a little hula hula, hula girl on the door. <laughs> right, let's keep exploring. Oh look, I didn't spot that. Yeah, I, I picked it up. I said look at this iron. Oh, <laughs> oh look, it's all this fishing um, stuff. Like all the oh, yeah. reels you attach to the rods. What is that now? Oh, Never yeah. seen anything like that before. Is it like a... Oh, look, oh, is it a seat? You see some walkers, they have that weird little foldable yeah. seat. Yeah, it's got a point on the bottom so you just stick yeah. it in and lean on it, I guess. Andy. Seen better days though. 
I really like what they've done here. Yeah, me too. It reminds me of like a Buddleia. Or mm -hmm. no, nah, what's the one? The blue yeah, one. Buddleia. Um, you know. Wisteria. Wisteria, yeah, that's <laughs> Upstairs it is then. Look at that, little treasure, treasure corner. Ah, oh, it's like a real treasure trove. Look, you can see the peacock's ore, it's like oxidising. Piece of, it's a, look, it's a Hubei turquoise oh, yeah. bead from China. Bunch more feathers. I'm excited now, I'm finding gemstones in it. <laughs> So thick. There's a lot of like natural, uh, local calcites and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Prop that back up. Look. Oh yeah. Spice of life. Cardamom pods, star of anise, and cloves of all the information. Just look at that view out the window. Actually. Wow. See how nice it is out there. Just look down and someone's been knocking stuff off and there's a onyx sphere. Beautiful, we've got a few of those at home. It's like a local quartz that is. But you can see the points there. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Some calcite. Probably without collecting all the Maybe, yeah. No, it's like a, it looked like that was like, he thought that was going to be a quartz geode. But it's not. All oh, the coats. Gowns. The gowns are still hanging. Smart coats. Yeah. Look, there's loads of them. Yeah. He had another curtain to pull over the door too. What's this here then, a rug? Oh, yeah. that is nice. Two. Yeah, look, they're both lovely. We should lay that out on the out. floor. Should put, yeah, let's put it down on the floor. I bet it used to be. Oh, it's a long trail of one. Oh, yeah. Let me move that axe. <laughs> Beautiful. It's lovely. And that is probably how it used to look. Very nice. See, what does that mean there? Habitikian Libra Free Room, Hostel Arita. That must be from their travels. Yeah, it looks From a hostel good. or something. Mm -hmm. Alright, upstairs we go. I just love that little windowsill, I can't get over it. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Look, got a boomerang here. Look, it looks like they travelled everywhere. Everywhere. Australia, India, America. Southern America, it looks like as well, doesn't it? Oh, wow, look at that. Let have a closer look at that. Sydney, Australia. Art Nouveau Publishing Company. John Lennox. Printed in Australia, so yeah, John they've definitely been to Australia. Yeah, it's just a print though, it's not an original. Look at this room, it's filled with stuff. Cool. Wow, this is like a um, oh my god, this place reminds me of almost like a uh, reclamation sort of center. Yeah, it's that it cool like old stuff everywhere. Of, yeah, incredible. Borax. These are I'm seeing old. a lot of borax. Look, five pound. Oh yeah. Do you think they used to sell stuff? Or do you think they were maybe. just buying it from charity? Yeah, maybe just buying it and a bit of both car boots it. and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god! Look, there's an old pink panther. Wow, that's a classic. Is it made out of fake fur? Drop it down in the comments, guys. Did you used to watch the cartoon <laughs> Pink Panther when you was a kid? We definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> It's old shoes. Yeah, it looks sold. 
Oh yeah. They were obviously doing car boots and stuff. Yeah. There's a camera box there. Yeah. Camera's gone. All these old parcels, look. Blimey. I don't want to pull them out they because they'll have addresses on them. Now they're open. Look, this is going to be an old paint in here. Whoa. It's oh, Deers. look at that. That's beautiful. Do you know what that looks like where we are now, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. It's just incredible painting after incredible painting. signs from look it's like a um it's like a proper posh record yeah. um like cabinet they got all their records in there liguana phone control little boiler no it's got a copper boiler as well Tucked away. more rocks Nothing too interesting. Look at that, Roger cigars. 2D each. That is old. See, I'm wondering if they were selling this because look, it's screwed into the wall. Maybe they were just collect collected us. it, yeah. That's a huge sign. <laughs> All Reddit. the old shirts and stuff. I bet there's some treasure in here. Oh, there's some <laughs> hidden gems in here, 100%. Look at that. It's like a oh, it's a machine. fruit machine! <laughs> no way! No. 1D? What, is that? what is that? One dollar, maybe? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And into the bedroom. Wow. What an incredible bedroom. Wow. So we've just noticed down here, this is very familiar for me and Jess mm -hmm. in, in the mineral world. And this is called a Mendip potato stone and they're only found in the area that we live in. They're a type of geode um, from the Dolomitic conglomerate layer, Triassic layer. And they're quartz geodes with red agate banding that are only found in the Mendips near Somerset. It's incredible, it's made its way up here. It's made its way all the way up here. And now it's covered in dust. See, if this was repolished, this would all be bright red banding with little bubbles in it. And it's a nice one. Red quartz is a very nice one. Very nice indeed. Right, there you go, you can see it a bit better now. But look at that, it's a beauty from our hometown too. That's cool. I bet you that was one of his um, prized possessions of his collection, that. Must have been. Yep. That's like a pretty unique thing to have, really. Most collectors people probably... People have thought that the Mender Potato Stones have disappeared. Mm -hmm. But... They haven't, and me and Jess know where to still find the Mendip Potato Stones. Mm -hmm. And there is going to be a gem hunting video hitting the channel very soon, but we want to take our time with it and make it more of like a documentary sort of style thing. Mm -hmm. Big shell. Look, someone's made this and they've stuck tiny little shells Aww. all around the bottom as well. That's so sweet. I can't read what it says. What's this then? The first snake cream in... It's Ooh. cream for a snake. How weird is for it? For a snake or from, probably. It says for a snake. For snakes. Oh. First snake cream in the world. It's probably got some snake in it for humans, probably. Would you rub that on a snake? <laughs> I don't know. The high quality special preparation may be used to care for dry, sensitive combination skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I wouldn't use that. It's on a busy that? road out there, isn't it? Like this looks like it could have a fossil on it. Oh? No. What is that? It's just like a bit of slate, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, the old rose. <laughs> it's 
so much old stuff in here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. It's cool, so cool. Look, even these little gemstones, look how um, like glazed over they are. It's like carnelians, mm. agate, agate necklace. Mm. Need, need buffing up. Let's get back from this road. Check those out. Thunder boots. Wow. They must be a biker as well then. Yeah. Honda boots. Do you know what? They look really new as well. Yeah, they do. Very smart. I like this guy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's cool. Italian. Italy's best. Bird feathers. Look at this old chair. That's a lovely chair. That's really nice. There's something underneath. That's a pair of shoes. <laughs> Hold this camera a sec, really. He's a tiny boy. <laughs> <laughs> That is a big bed. It is. There's two separate mattresses. Yeah. Real nice bed. In that box. Whoa, I thought that was going to be a mirror. It's not. Oh, look at that. Some sort of religious thing. I bet that box has done some miles. Yeah, but and this lamp. This lamp's African, isn't it? Skin. Skin. Yeah. It's, made, it's made out of leather. There's a tiny mini little foot up there. Let me see. Wow. Hmm. 2019. 2019? Yeah. You see that? It's like pencil on as well. Yeah, see, maybe this place has only been abandoned for two years, maybe mm. a year. Look at that cowboy hat. It's a shame there's no bedding on the bed. Oh, those are lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. So I was wondering, there's, there's no TV or anything in there, but look, they've got a computer screen up here. Oh, yeah. Books. Gordon's dry. Wow. One pound. One pound. Christ. Intense caring. Light and shade. Doctor's Guide to Better Health. Oh, I heard someone downstairs for a second. Then. Oh, wow. Premier Toffee Forms. Leeds, England. We have a little hat in there. Chocolates. This is all their clothes. Look, they would have painted, oh, yeah. painted those little mini little canvases. Aww. Fairies. Jeez, Isn't that a famous... um? Photo that. I don't know. Look, they've signed. It's like oh, yeah. Alfred Allen. That's so cute. It's like sharp somehow. It's just a floor. Oh, yeah, it's just a floor. God, I'm freaking out then. Thought someone was in there. Get scared, don't you? Yeah, I do. I wonder what's in that cupboard there. It's almost been blocked, hasn't it? It's a feather sticking out of it. Oh, yeah. Bags, kettle, more hats, nothing too interesting. There's only man's clothes left. Really? It makes me think maybe the lady passed away first. Yeah. Something. Maybe she did, maybe it was just a man left behind then. Mm. That's sad, didn't it? You get that feel as well? It's a man. Yeah, me too. Just, yeah. Stream. Maybe the man didn't pass away either. Maybe he just had to leave the house. There's too many memories, harsh memories for him. Yeah. Sad. Beatrix Pop here. Oh, yeah. The Beatrix Pop. Samuel Whiskers. <laughs> Samuel Whiskers. His book. Yeah. Aww. Aww. This is cool.
now noticed. Well, I've been noticing it the whole time, and little feathers tucked mm -hmm. away in strange places. There's even one tucked away up here. They are everywhere. I reckon it might have been for like some sort of protection. Yeah. So, some sort of spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. Possibly, anyway. Who knows? Oh, wallpaper there, though. Oh, yeah. Really colourful. Right, let's go downstairs then. Right, so we've made it back downstairs, we've been taking cinematics and stuff, but I think we're done with the inside now. Mm -hmm. But we are going to film the outside, there are a few hidden secrets outside as well, so let's do it. It's probably going to be much warmer out there too. Yeah. Well, we made it outside then. Such okay. a temperature change, coming out here, it's like you're on holiday, it's getting, off a, <laughs> getting off a plane, yeah. Look, more tape. Oh yeah, police tape. You have the whole house taped off, it's so strange, isn't it? Is Look that? at this. This here is like a, uh, it's an old um, dryer for your oh, clothes yeah. or something, isn't it? Something like that. Look, they got the hydroponic balls. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon that's why the police tape was here? Oh, yeah, he might have been growing a bit of ganja, yeah. Yeah. A few bits. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Oh, in the garden, do you reckon? Oh, my God. It's not real. Oh, no, it's not. It's not real ammonites, but still looks apart. Yeah, that's going to be it, isn't it? What a, you had a perfect place to do it. Wow, look at this garden. Just ornaments everywhere here, isn't there? It's like a bus seat. Oh yeah, it's probably from their van, I bet. Bet they had a bus as well. Okay. And look at the prayer, what they call the prayer and flags. Yeah. Tibetan. There's a nice little area, this bit. All the old stuff. Oh, the police totally busted them, didn't they? Look, he's got his old tube and that. Oh, crap, yeah. He's <laughs> probably in. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> Look at that cat. So, is this the door? What door's uh, that then? No, that is the bathroom. I don't think there's anything actually. There was no door in the bathroom then? No, I think that door is just on the wall. You sure. Yeah, because look. No, behind. it goes out. Goes outside. Oh, does it? Yeah, it stinks of weed around here. What's it? How do you get in there then? It's not. It just goes out to the front. There's nothing in there. Oh, oh, yeah. Good. What a beautiful little cottage this is. I can't believe they got busted. <laughs> I know, it's not it's not fair, is it? Like they're out they're out here chilling out, smoking their ganja, next thing you know, police police smashing their door in. Oh wow. yeah, a little pond. Lovely. This should have been the perfect garden. Yeah. So we've explored the garden, we've explored the house, there's not much else left to explore, but what an amazing place, a little cottage in the middle of nowhere. True, true hidden gem, this one, mm -hmm. it really is. But this video does not end here. We're about to take you to a little village in Wales known as Betsy Coed. So we're on our way to Betsy Coed, and look on that hill. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but that is a waterfall running all the way from the top, all the way down. Incredible. We are arriving, we're almost there. Here we are. Oh yeah. It's good. This, oh. this is our favourite place, one of our favourite places on Wales. Mm -hmm. I just love the, just that. Those huts, just that stone is just classic North Wales, isn't it? Uh, I parked up here last time, didn't I? Oh yeah, let's just park here then. Yeah, I'll get back a bit. Rogue. 
So Jess thinks she spotted a bando band already. Yeah, but that's lived in the back part, definitely. Yeah, it's like an old shop or something. They just emptied it out. Nelson tipped cigarettes. Always buy 10 Zara fruit squashes. Looks nice, I think they're refurbing it. Oh yeah. That's good. La last time we came, this looked pretty derelict, didn't it? Yeah. Right, so we are actually heading to our favourite pizzeria right now. But um, yeah, I think we're just going to catch up with you when we get to the pizzeria. All the houses here are so lovely. Let's smell the flowers. The air here is just unbelievable. It's my favourite smell. I love the smell of it here. So there's birds flying everywhere. Unfortunately, the hotel seems shut. So we're either gonna have to find a travel lodge or we're gonna have to stay in the car. Like last time. <laughs> last time we came, we slept right outside the church, didn't we, in the car? Yeah. And it Got kept woke us up, up every, hour. <laughs> every hour. Ding, ding. But it was so hot, wasn't it? We had our feet out the window and stuff. That was really <laughs> yeah. nice. I was in the summer, wasn't it? <laughs> Which way is it to the pizza rear then? Down here. Down here, yeah, let's do it. Ah, back again. Yeah, this church, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's the church there. We slept just outside of there. The wiki wiki time. We have arrived at the pizzeria. What's it? It's called Hanging Pizzeria. This is the number one pizza shop in Wales. I swear down, it is the best pizzas ever. <laughs> Let's do this. You excited for this, Jess? I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I'm hungry. A whole day of full exploring and since last time. Last time. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hanging pizzeria. Oh yeah, pizza time. So we're in our favourite town right now. Favourite pizzeria, oh damn. <laughs> Hanging pizza, make sure you check them out. What, what drinks you got there, Jess? Some ginger beer. Show us what you got. Yeah. Perfect. Let's do this, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and there is the church. Beautiful. Even though it kept us up every hour, it's still a beautiful church. That's right. How was the pizza, Jess? Good. That was a good pizza. pizza. <laughs> if you guys want to check, out hanging pizzeria i'm going to drop their link in the description below it's a good restaurant they even donate a percentage to the apes so it's definitely a good business to fund all the apes are getting rich out here <laughs> that was our little spot right there behind that black car it wasn't a bad spot to be honest it's it was nice we did the exact same thing didn't we we had the pizzeria mm -hmm. from the hanging pizzeria and then we kipped in the car that was a good night. That was, was a good time. <laughs> that was actually the time that we explored the infinity pool. Yeah, it was. It was that Wales road trip with the station house, the infinity pool, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you check out those videos on our channel as well. I don't know how many years we've been coming back here now. We've been coming back here for a few. Probably three, three years or whatever. Yeah. I remember the first time we ever came to Wales. Uh, Jess, we weren't driving, were we? Je Jess couldn't drive and we got... I mean, we live about 300 miles away as well. We got, we got like a taxis, train. trains, so We got the wrong train. Buses. Oh, we, we got the wrong train. We had to, we got on a train, then had to go back on a train, and then we got yeah, taxis. Buses, taxis. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. And then so. we got stuck in, at the campsite. A massive storm came over, oh. and we had a cheap tent <laughs> from like B and M or somewhere like that, and it was not waterproof at all. We had to hide, didn't we, under the tree? We had to hide. We had to move. <laughs> we had to go and hide in the in the campsite. Yeah. Good fun. Really good. <laughs> Just look how beautiful this place is. It do you know what it reminds me of? 
Hmm? It reminds me of like a Christmas village. It is, isn't it? It's like a real Christmas it is like village. It's like a fairy tale. I'd love to come here in the Especially snow. Especially when it's completely dark. Yeah, when and it's completely lit up. lit up. Yeah. Magic. Look at that big hotel. I wonder what our chances are. Do you think they, this hotel is taking bookings mm -hmm. or not? One of the nicest things is how it's surrounded. This, every, everywhere you look, you're just surrounded by trees. Trees, yeah. Birds. One day we'll live here. I hope so. <laughs> I hope we live here one day. <laughs> Anyone's from Betsy Code and watching this video and you have a place to live, Can let we have us your house? know. Can <laughs> we please have your house? <laughs> so the Royal Oak Hotel are not answering their phone. Thanks a lot, guys. It means a lot. Olaf. <laughs> Let's go and find this waterfall then. Yeah, let's find the waterfall. I can hear it. Yeah, last time we were here, there was that big... Is it kingfisher? What was it? Oh, was what was it? No, it was like a stork or a a stork. something like that. A stork, like that. yeah. That was really cool. I wonder if he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> he's still there from that day. B&B, &B, no vacancies. Damn it! But this obviously used to be a, a mill. A wall, oh, yeah. a wall mill. If I remember rightly, there's an abandoned building at the end. Oh yeah, there is. Oh look, you can see the river now. Yeah. When it warms up a bit, everybody's like jumping in, jumping off the bridge. Everyone's jumping off the bridge into the waterfall, that's what we like. We don't want to do that right now. God, it'd be cold. <laughs> it's warming up a bit, but not enough. Here it is, the abandoned building of Betsy Coward. Camping shop. Yeah, I wonder what's like inside. It's quite big. Yeah, it's big. I just can't imagine there'd be a lot going on in there. It's no, pretty... I, don't, I don't think there'd be much. It doesn't look like there's a way in. No, I'm not going to Just be empty. Back Pacquiao. <laughs> Back Pacquiao, man. I'm getting a bit chilly out here. Yeah, it's cooling down fast. It smells like fire. Fire. Now. On sweet, on sweet rooms. There's so many rooms here, we just can't, we just can't get into one. No, <laughs> please. Someone send us help, we need a room. Or not, they were all jumping off here, weren't they? Oh yeah, they, people were jumping off here into the river. God. Look at that. I'd love to live there. <laughs> yeah, that's That right. is the house. That is the one, isn't it? Look, it's just like almost calm down there. Cool, they've got some balls there. I don't know if I could jump off this. Would you? Nah, I don't think I would, you know. It's scary, isn't it? If Luke's watching this video right now, oh, yeah. living it urban, 100% he would jump off yeah. this. Luke, I want to see you. If you're watching this, I want to see you and Betsy Coed, I want to see you jump off this. <laughs> Beautiful area. Oh, they've been laying down the law. No jumping. No jumping, but everyone does. Hundred pound. Hundred pound fine. <laughs> no one cares about the hundred pound fine. No one gives a damn. They ain't fining no one. <laughs> I'm gonna go down this way, I think. Loud. Woo! And we made it. Wow. That amount of power is incredible. Imagine being in there. Woohoo!
Hey, we could just sleep in here for the night. Oh, good idea. <laughs> wow. It's a nice evening for it too. It is. That looks so cozy. I want to live there. <laughs> Jess, so what have we found? We have found a hotel in Betsy Coed. Thank God for that. We and so close to going to the, the travel, lodge. travel lodge. And look at this, a traditional <laughs> farmhouse. But that's not it. What have we just hit on YouTube? We hit 20K, 20K. right now. We hit 20K, so we've treated <laughs> ourselves to this hotel. It is £100 they, just for they tonight. Did but deals, they, 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 the they, did a, they did us like the honeymoon suite mm. with a £50 discount, so we're balling tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much, Twy Gwen Hotel in <laughs> Luxury. Look at the big grandfather club. I'm excited for this. This is, a, this is a step up from the um, <laughs> travel lodge. Wow, it's an old phone. Yeah. Right. Wow, this place is like a museum. This is so cool. We've made it inside our room. <sighs> it's quite I can't believe where we're staying right now. Damn, this is the life of luxury. Oh, I bet this is so hot. Oh, we've got our own balcony as well. No. Yeah. Look at oh, the chandeliers. Man. Let me turn the lights on. Hold on. Boom. Wow, what a room. This is one of the nicest rooms I've ever stayed in. So sweet. Is that actually a balcony? No. This one first. Right, so Jess has just found the bathroom. I thought, I thought it was actually a cupboard. Yeah. But let's let's check this bathroom out. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna have a bath. <laughs> we have got a jacuzzi, but we're having a jacuzzi in the morning dress. I'm telling you now. <laughs> this is awesome. this is pimping. I feel like uh, it's the life of luxury, man. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm not used to this. Not used to this at all. <laughs> what a lovely little place. Thank God we found this hotel. In it, Jess. Can't believe we got this for the night. 20, 20k celebrations. I, I think we've worked hard enough for this hotel room for the night. <laughs> One time, no travel lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.